How you doing? My name is Jason Leventhal. I'm the owner and founder of Jay Skis. I'm also the assistant to the regional manager of Team Ski Blades. Only available at jayskis.com. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust these ski blade bindings to fit your ski boot. So if you own a pair of Team Ski Blades, congratulations. You're one of only 80 people that snagged a pair this season. We'll be building more next year. You're going to need to adjust it to your boot ski boot. So the way this binding works is there are two tabs, one on the heel and one on the toe. To slide the binding to adjust your boot, first push the tab towards the, the plate towards the center. It'll be easy to lift the tab at that point. And then you can slide it like this. Now when you push the tab down, it goes into one of these grooves and that's what locks it in. So I'll slide it here, push the tab down, now it's locked in place. The toe, again, it's hard to lift unless you take your thumb and push on it towards the center and then lift it, at which point it's very easy to slide back and forth. Again, you lock it down, and then you put your ski boot in, a little trial and error here. So you put the heel in the part that just has the wire, and you put the toe in the part that has this lever. Okay, remember, the lever goes in the front. Now, this is a little bit loose. You can see your boot, it moves too much. So, what you want to do is again, push the toe towards the center, lift the lever, and try the next notch. And you can do that in the heel or the toe and go back and forth until it eventually snaps on like that. You want a nice solid snapping lock so the boot is in there nice and rigid. Now, as far as the location of the boot, you'd want, there's a center mark on every boot you'll find here. It's usually a raised line, and there's a center of the binding. So you're gonna want to line that up after you adjust it. Just try to make sure that center line is close to the center. And you can move the toe or the heel in order to slide its position along the ski blade. The other part that you're not used to seeing on a ski is this strap. This is a safety strap and most mountains require it. And it goes around your boot or the leg of your pants like that when you're skiing. And the reason is there's no brakes on these skis. So if the boot accidentally comes off when you fall, it's going to be attached to your, your leg. And as odd as that may seem, it's a lot better than this thing rocketing down the mountain, eventually hitting someone or something. So use a safety strap and uh, have fun. Team Ski Blades, go.